Could Flint leaders face annual drug testing? It may happen if Flint City Councilman Sheldon Neely gets his way. He says a clear mind is necessary to do city business, but others say this may just be a political ploy. NBC 25's Waller Smith Randolph live at City Hall with more. Walter, set the scene for us tonight. Bill Councilman Sheldon Neely says a simple drug test can win back the public's trust, but with the Democratic primary just one week away, political analysts say this just may be a way to weed out unfavorable candidates. Meantime, neighbors here at City Hall say putting city council members to the test may not be a bad idea. Flint leaders could face a new litmus test, drug testing. It's about governmental responsibility. We have to build the trust back with our community. Councilman Sheldon Neely says elected leaders need a clear mind to make city decisions. We should be held to a higher standard on every level. And I think this is a good time to say, let's, let's provide some uh, leadership here. But political analyst Paul Rosicki questions the timing of Neely's latest measure. But frankly, coming at this time just before the election, it does sound a little bit funny. Nearly facing embattled Councilman Eric Mays in a Democratic state primary next Tuesday. Mays found guilty of driving while impaired earlier this month. It does suspect, sound like a, a campaign ploy in many ways. Is this aimed at any certain council members? Not, not at all. Political move or not, Flint neighbors say drug testing city officials may help the city out. Everybody out tends to have a drug test, so why shouldn't they? If they're going to be responsible people, so it shouldn't be no problem. I think it's a good idea but I think it should be just cause. We did reach out to the emergency manager and Flint mayor as well, but they were both unavailable for comment. However, the city attorney says drug testing elected and appointed officials is legal. Now, this idea is still just in committee talks, and Sheldon Neely tells me he hopes it moves forward in the coming weeks. For now, we're live at City Hall. Walter Smith Randolph, NBC 25 News. Bill.